Next we have the Skeleton, which also learns a skill all the way up to level 10. Uh, only through skills, but they're very useful. Melee attack, ridiculously powerful melee attack. Uh, strongest creature at this point, but not a huge amount stronger than the, uh, the uh, Demon Spot, surprisingly. They uh, take quite a large wage and take quite a huge uh, training cost, but more importantly, they have so much health they are ludicrous. 2,000 more health at level 10, 500 at level 1, uh, making them just so useful. Twice the health of a level 10 beetle. Um, I think, I can't remember exactly, but yeah, they're ridiculously useful. Their um, level 5 ability is armor, which protects them from any physical damage at all, and I believe also range damage. Then uh, they learn at level 10 one of our mo more powerful spells, lightning. Huge amount of damage from this thing. In fact, I'm gonna go cast it on something and see if it dies. That'll be funny. Come here, little Eve. Die. Can I just not hit with this thing? There we go. Skeletons are also one of the few creatures you can't attract through the portal. You can either find them in rooms like this one, or um, go ahead and uh, put a humanoid creature, for instance a warlock or a troll, in the prison and starve them to death. This can be your own creatures or enemy creatures. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if you can put your own creatures anymore in the prison, but I know you could uh, Dungeon Keeper too. But yeah, generally, find enemy creatures, put them in the prison, get skeletons, train them. Pretty expensive, but uh, very powerful. Next we have the spider. The spider is not all that impressive, uh, however it does know a few interesting spells. It does have quite a lot of health, but compared to your skeleton, it's not really that important. It knows your melee attack at level 1. At level 2 it learns how to slow creatures down, a little bit of a projectile. Like the beetle, it learns freeze, however it learns it at level 4, uh, and it's one of its signature attacks. The spider will in fact run around the prison, normally, uh, which it is drawn in by partly, and uh, just uh, freeze creatures for fun. Just because, yeah, spiders like that. That's how they roll. Level 8, they learn their only real offensive uh, magic spell, which is Hailstorm. Uh, which, as you can see, covers a large area and does a decent amount of damage. It's kind of like a shotgun attack. These creatures are good to have as part of a team, but on their own, aren't really a huge amount. The best use of these is to have one in, in amongst a quite a powerful team, rather than uh, having a whole bunch of these. They really don't do as much as large numbers. Spiders will also train automatically, um, but uh, like I said, training room and dungeon, no, training room, yeah, training room and prison, I believe, are what draw the spider in. Spiders also have a natural enemy of flies, so if you have flies in your dungeon and spiders, god knows why you would, then uh, go ahead and build separate layers for them, separate training rooms, um, and probably even a separate hatchery. Generally, mostly, keep the layers separate, that's the most important part. Finally, we have the Bile Demon. This beast of a thing is, uh, well, just mad. It's uh, got the highest health of anything you have, the highest strength by a very long shot. It's decently dexterous, considering how fat it is. It's quite quick, considering how fat it is. It's actually, uh, I think, as quick as a skeleton. Uh, doesn't have a huge amount of skill set, although I don't even know what that does. Does attract as high a wage as a Warlock, almost. The Warlocks need the highest wage so far and has a training cost of 38, which is excruciatingly high. They learn all of their skills by level 7, um, and are best used as a team on their own. Don't put them in other teams, because they will destroy your teams by using their uh, area of effect attacks. Bile demons are ineffected by gas attacks. Uh, this is good, because that's their main thing. Level 1, melee attack. Level 2, poison cloud. At uh, level 4 they learn fart. Uh, whoop, that's not fart, that's grenade. There we go. Level 4 they learn fart. Just demonstrated there. Level 7 they learn grenade. Um, They have the most huge amount of health, I cannot stress this. 1,200 health at level 1 and 4,980 health at level 10. Which is ludicrous. Um, skeletons are weak compared to these in every possible way. Uh, which is important because they are natural enemies with the skeletons and the skeletons are natural enemies with them, so you need to separate them. Skeletons are mostly useful just because they're so easy to get, uh, and they can extend your maximum creature amount by coming from the prison, rather than the portal. Bile demons, however, much more important to have, in general, because they have huge amounts of health and 332 strength, which I know I haven't been reading out strength numbers, but that's over 100 more than the uh, demon spawn, um, and much more than the uh, skeleton, which is actually weaker than the demon spawn, if I remember correctly, or slightly stronger, I don't remember exactly. 
They're attracted by the training room and uh, a large gold room, a large lair, and a large hatchery, and uh, a decent enough uh, treasury as well. They're um, good replacements for the trolls as well. Um, the trolls really just can't stand up to them. So that about does it for the overview of our uh, creatures and the first few levels. We have uh, finished the tutorial and we'll be going here next to talk some bunnies. The uh, storyline is kind of unimportant in this game, but as a basic overview, what's happened so far is we've killed a few heroes and then found out that there are keepers that uh, don't like us either. So we're going to avoid them, I think. Uh, I don't remember exactly what happens next, but uh, we're not particularly happy uh, that there are other keepers, so we're just going to kill them as we find them, and we're not particularly going to go after them uh, until until they become a big problem. I think which is about over here, or maybe over here. Who knows, we'll find out. Either way, lots of burning going on here. The map hasn't changed a huge amount yet, but as you can see, the skyline is getting a little more cloudy. A little darker pitch. Darker tone, even. That's the one. And uh, all around here, you can actually hear wolves howling now, if you listen closely. And a bell. Pretty ominous. All over here, you can hear birdsong. So, that's the game so far. Next video, we will be continuing on down here. Alright, folks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That just sounded weird.